Hello everyone. As promised, this week we're going further into the process of learning anatomy. Now in the background, you will see me draw a torso, a male torso, and I will draw out the base muscles that a torso has. Now I think most of you think that this is how you learn anatomy, to draw out the muscles, to draw the muscles over like an existing photograph to memorize all the names of the individual muscles, where they are, how they look, and whatsoever. Which, don't get me wrong, is a good way to mastering anatomy to a high degree. But with that said, you should already hear the problem. It is a way to master anatomy, and with everything, you need to crawl before you walk, or walk before you run, or however you want to call it. So. Drawing every muscle, you know, learning about all the muscles and whatever, is the first hurdle that people are trying to leap over before they even know what kind of race they're on. And spoiler alert, it's not a sprint race or anything, it's an endurance race. And there are many hurdles, but these are not something you need to, you know, fuzz over now. Last week, I told you how to effectively learn to draw and construct individual parts of the body. And if you have done that, let's say 101 minute drawings a day, every time, like every day for another part of the body, you should be pretty well off for this lesson. Because as you can see, the torso behind me looks pretty damn shitty. It doesn't look good. I mean, I've drawn it in like a couple of minutes just from memory and obviously there are going to be some faults and it's not going to be very clean. So just to remind you, this method of drawing, you know, drawing all the muscles individually and learning them that way, it's not wrong. Absolutely not. You can learn all the anatomy even from the absolute beginner states like that. It's just going to take probably longer than if you would take anatomy step by step. With that, I mean that last week I told you to construct these things, you know, parts of the body, hands specifically, you know, they're hard to do, even, you know, faces, like I, I struggle with faces quite a lot, and to find your construction language, you know, stuff that works for you, that you can do to put down the ink on the paper or, you know, the pixels on the canvas in Photoshop relatively quickly, because now, as of today, you will not be doing that anymore. At least not as much as you've done it before. Hopefully you've done it before, because if not, then I would recommend to do it before you start this lesson. Now you're going to draw the entire body. It doesn't need to be good. It doesn't need to be clean. You can, as well as before, search for your construction language. Maybe there are some kind of lines that perfectly help you determine how the body is shaped, where it is facing, where are the curves, where's the front, where's the back, you know, all that kind of stuff. You just need to figure it out for yourself. Nobody can help you with that. You just need to do it and it'll come along naturally. By now, you should be able to see me doing exactly that in the background. And I tried to do some various techniques, even chicken scratching and whatever, because in this stage, Nobody cares if you do chicken scratches. Obviously, chicken scratching is something you should be avoiding, like actively avoiding, because it just doesn't look good in a finished piece to have chicken scratches. But if you're actively doing it during the sketching phase and then, you know, you draw simple line art over it, then it's absolutely fine. There are no rules on how to sketch, you know. With that said, obviously, for every pose, there is on my canvas or will be like in the future of the time lapse, I had a reference. And I hope that you have like another screen or like a phone where you can pull up your reference. So it's not exactly side by side with your canvas, because then you have to make up the proportions for yourself, which is exactly the lesson of, you know, this week, the proportions. Because last week you already learned or during last week, you already learned how to construct easily most parts of the body and how they are basically shaped. So now you can just use that knowledge to, you know, 
draw every part of the body, have a little bit of reference on the side so you know, you know, what kind of pose you want, and then you make up the proportions for yourself. Now don't worry, it doesn't need to be a one-to-one -one copy. The proportions don't need to be exactly the same, but they should be realistically enough for the silhouette or the sketch from afar to read like a human. As a little reminder, a human body, like a normal human body, is about seven heads high, which makes the head obviously one head high, the torso around, you know, two and a half heads, and the hips and the legs around four heads. That will give you a pretty common proportioned person. With that said, I would say that for this week, the lesson is that you make 20 poses a day, you know, something like three minute poses. They can be, you know, a little less poses if you see that after three minutes you have basically nothing on the page. Just practice like for an hour a day towards the point where the poses look somewhat like the ones you're seeing here. If they look better, well, even better. But the point of the exercise isn't to make like the perfect pose or a perfectly rendered body, but the point is to get the basic proportions of the human body into your muscle memory. You don't need to indicate like any muscles, just the silhouette is enough and a good gesture is a plus. Now onwards with the drawing and next week we will look at like basic muscle groups, not individual muscles, but the groups that are like most important that define the shape of the body for males and for females. Happy drawing.